solve the given equation, we need to determine the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. To begin solving, the first step is to simplify both sides of the equation. On the left side, to simplify, we need to clear the parentheses by distributing negative 11 and then combining like terms. And on the right side, we combine like terms. Distributing negative 11, we have negative 11 times x, which is negative 11x. And then negative 11 times positive four is negative 44, giving us minus 44. And then we have plus 447 equals, on the right side, 22 plus 29 is equal to 51. Still simplifying on the left, we need to determine at negative 44 plus 447. Notice how we're adding integers with different signs, but the positive 447 is going to outweigh the negative 44, and therefore the sum is going to be positive. Because we're adding integers with different signs, we need to subtract the absolute values to determine how much the positive 447 outweighs the negative 44. And we always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. The absolute value of 447 is 447. The absolute value of negative 44 is 44. And now we subtract. And again, because the positive 447 outweighs the negative 44, the sum is positive 403. This gives us negative 11x plus 403 equals 51. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To isolate negative 11x, we need to undo plus 403 by subtracting 403 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 403 minus 403 is equal to zero, which is why we subtracted 403 on both sides. This gives us negative 11x equals, on the right we have 51 minus 403, which remember is equivalent to 51 plus negative 403. Notice for the sum, the negative 403 is going to outweigh the positive 51, and therefore the sum is going to be negative. To find how much the negative 403 outweighs the positive 51, we need to subtract their absolute values. The absolute value of negative 403 is 403. The absolute value of 51 is 51. And now we subtract. The difference is positive 352, but again, because the negative 403 had the larger absolute value, the sum or the original difference is negative 352. And now for the last step, we need to multiply or divide in order to solve for x. And since negative 11x means negative 11 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we need to divide both sides by negative 11. Simplifying, negative 11 divided by itself simplifies to one, one times x is x. We have x equals negative 352 divided by negative 11, and negative divided by a negative is positive, and I'll perform long division to determine the quotient. There are three 11s in 35, three times 11 is 33. We subtract, difference is two, bring down the next digit. There are two 11s in 22, two times 11 is 22, and we subtract the difference is zero, and therefore the quotient is 32, and again it's positive 32, because a negative divided by a negative is positive. The solution is x equals 32, which means if we substitute 32 for x back into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation. And let's go ahead and check this. Substituting 32 for x in the original equation, we have negative 11 times the quantity 32 plus four, plus 447 equals 22 plus 29. To save some time, let's go ahead and evaluate the left side on the calculator. We have negative 11 times the quantity 32 plus four, and then plus 447, which is equal to positive 51. And we already know 22 plus 29 is also 51. 51 equals 51 is true, verifying the solution is correct. 
I hope you found this helpful.